The Imperial Hover Tank Driver Imperial Combat Drivers operate the Empire's arsenal of armoured repulsor vehicles, relying on their thick skin of their vehicles to protect them in the battle. Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we are reviewing from the new archive line that's celebrating the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm, the Imperial Hover Tank Driver. This guy came famous, I think was in Rogue One, I think the first time that I've seen him. Maybe it was a comic or something like that that I don't know about, but for me, it was Rogue One. And obviously now, the helmet's getting even more famous because of Season 2 Mandalorian. But yeah, I'm quite glad to get this guy. This one was literally non-existent for me as a collector when I first started. So it's kind of nice that we're bringing out these kind of, uh, kind of army builders in a way. Uh, into the archive line and stuff like that which is great for people for me i just buy one and that's it uh, unless there's subtle differences and stuff like that that i can either put on a custom or if hasbro actually produce it themselves then i will actually go out and purchase it so here he is in the nice kind of new archive kind of line with the gold and x sector on there contrasting with the silver we've got the nice pencil drawing down on the side he's just standing here with his e11 blaster on the back we just got the 50th anniversary kind of sort of like um, timeline of Star Wars. I don't know why they just concentrated on Star Wars though. It would be nice to have other Lucasfilm stuff situated in there, which would be quite cool. So on the back up here as well, we just got the hover tank, uh, pencil drawing and his bio as well. So I guess without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. Here he is in his blister pack, just with the E11 blaster. So we just get him out for our first impressions. Yeah, I really like this design helmet. It doesn't really show off to me like Star Wars. I think if someone showed it to me, first of all, I'd really say sort of maybe like, uh, I don't know, Battlestar Galactica or something like that. But um, yeah, we go away, have his uh, pictures, and we'll see you in a moment. So here he is, I've been away taking his photos and I must admit I've actually enjoyed this character more than I thought I would. Uh, it seems to be a bit weird because I've bought the Scarif Guard as well at the same time and even though they share the same body I just like this one a little bit less and I think it's due to the helmet uh, and just due to the fatigues that he is wearing because it is, it kind of suits the Scarif Trooper a little bit more. But saying that I actually do really like this guy and um, it's come more apparent as I've been playing with him, to be honest. So it kind of takes a leaf out of the original Stormtrooper sculpt. Um, I mean, obviously it's all completely different, but the articulation is exactly the same. And the old Stormtrooper was not lacking in the articulation, so we can actually really bring all this up, up here and stuff like that with the gun and everything like that. So yeah, I'm actually really liking it. The only thing, as I said before, it just doesn't feel really Star Wars-y. It kind of takes it away, like, this whole back thing here was in Solo and Rogue One, then all of a sudden we've never seen it again. So these guys kind of fit more in a complacent to me, sort of maybe around the Mandalorian era rather than before. But anyway, with the review, so he comes with one accessory, which is just his standard E11 blaster. Um, and like the Mandalorian Stormtroopers as well, they've got the extra kind of little light thing on the top here on the side. And um, it's all made in a sort of dark grey plastic. No extra paint job on there. Not even that little bit in there. It's painted silver. But the actual mould is absolutely fine. He has no holster or anything on there to fit it in. But as you can see, he holds the gun quite nicely himself. Articulation wise, well, he's got pretty good ones here. But obviously it's the old standard sort of mould. So we've got left, right. He can look down this far. He can look up this far. Arm wise, we've got rotation up here. We've got the rotation here at the elbow and it's more than a 90 degree bend, just slightly. And we've got a rotation at the wrist and it's on the hinge. Waist can swivel, you can look down this far and you can look back pretty far as well. Leg wise, come up this far, 
rotation here at the upper thigh, kick forward, kick back, double jointed knee as well, that comes right up here, and then we've got the rocker and a pivot as well, which is really nice. But yeah, you can get him in all kind of poses, you can bend him down, like sort of scoper sort of like type, running and etc. And he's a really nice sort of size, solid figure as well, so he doesn't really fall over that much. And then really going into his sort of sculpt and paint apps, and this guy is actually pretty nicely weathered, I think, by Hasbro. Um, obviously, I can't really go on about the first one because I haven't got this. This is the archive release. But um, yeah, it's actually really nice. All that scuff on there. He's not white. He's kind of like an off cream anyway. And um, with all the brown markings, etc., and the burns all around on there. We've got all the paint parts, all decals and all that painted in there. A little bit of paint blodge on this part here. But yeah, the weathering is all around, all the wash and everything, which is really nice to see from Hasbro. Down on the legs, we've got a nice texture over the actual leggings part. And then down to the shin pads as well that haven't been forgotten. So yeah, in all, it's a really nice sort of figure. Yeah, it's 19 99 You know, it's a good way to army build as well. Um, and if you do get another one, there's actually... I don't know why they release this guy as plain because the actual hover tank driver actually has like some gray markings across on the top here uh, with the stripe as well, which is similar to the um, Scarif guard as well. So yeah, I mean, if you want to army build, you know, it's the potential is there if you do want to customize as well uh, to single out the guys. So it's pretty cool. So that kind of brings me to the end of this review. It's a little short one, really. There's not really much going on, but he is similar to the other Scarab Trooper as well, which is the review is on his way. Um, if you'd like to comment down below, you can comment and you can subscribe. You can ding the bell. And also I'll put the link down in here where I got this guy from Amazon for $19.99. We are now affiliated with Amazon. So a little bit does come back if you use the link to the channel. So thank you once again, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.